Lucille Lumen. There was an unmarried farmer from Wolf's Neck. Friends teased him because when he said he had no interest in women, he took no notice. His only interest was in his farm, and the good farmer grew rich. One day the farmer was walking by the shore at the ebb tide and noticed a group of seal folk sunning themselves on a rock swimming in the sea. The seals did not notice the farmer, so he crept closer and saw that they had all taken off their seal skins and their bodies were as pale as his own. The farmer thought it would be fun to catch one of the naked seals, so he edged closer and then made a dash for the seals. They grabbed their skins in alarm and jumped into the water, but the farmer managed to hold onto one of the skins. He watched the seals swim out to the sea and then turned to walk home. He heard sobbing behind him and turned to see a seal woman, weeping for her lost skin. I cannot join my family in the sea without it, she cried. The farmer felt pity, but he was also smitten by the beauty of the seal woman. He talked to her and told her his feelings. Soon he persuaded her to come ashore and live with him as his wife. She lived long with the farmer and was a good farmer's wife. She bore him several children, four boys and three girls. She sang and seemed happy, and, but she sometimes looked with longing at the sea. One day the farmer took his three eldest sons out on his boat to go fishing. The seal, seal women sent three children to gather limpets and whelks. The youngest daughter stayed at home because the girl's foot was sore and she could not walk far. Once they had all gone out, the seal women started to search the house. Her daughter realised that she was looking for something and asked the mother what it was. Tell no one, said the seal woman, I am looking for a fine skin to make a dressing for your foot. The younger replied, I might know where you can find one. When you were out one day and father thought we were asleep, I saw him take a skin and look at it. Then he folded it away carefully and hid it up in the eaves above the bed. The seal woman rushed to the eaves. Farewell, my little one, she said, and she ran with the skin in her direction. In the direction of the shore. She put on the skin, dived into the sea and swam away. A male seal saw her coming and greeted her with excitement, for he recognised the seal he had loved long ago. <laughs> As the farmer was returning to shore in his boat, he saw his wife diving into the sea and swimming to the male seal. Farewell, dear husband, she called to him. I liked you well and you treated me kindly, but it's time that I return to my true love of the sea. That was the last the farmer saw of the seal woman. He missed his seal wife greatly, and it took him many years to recover from his sadness. And he often went for walks along the shore hoping to catch sight of her again. The End <laughs>